Hello everybody, it's Monday and of course uh, this week is literally blowing in. We take a look at our storm impact with our first alert weather. Uh, it's going to be the winds. That's going to be the highest impact we see. If you're traveling with say a fifth wheel or a trailer or a semi trailer, um, then certainly travel is going to have a medium impact. You want to use caution, be careful between now all the way into the Tri-Cities, all the way into this evening. Um, and flooding onto the west side, not so much for us. We'll see that down into areas of the Asotan County and stuff. Uh, we'll see tributaries rise because of the melt off, but we're not expecting to see anything major. Now we look at our 24 hour snow forecast. Again, had issues uh, this morning with all of the passes into the west of us. Uh, Lookout Pass was actually in pretty good shape, had some snowpack nicely at the top, but we had all passes closed to trying to get to the west side. Now, look at that 24 hour forecast, continuing to see that. So, avalanche control this morning, we'll probably see a little bit more of that uh, tonight and tomorrow potentially. So, call ahead 511. Uh, if you do that on your cell phone, you can get the latest road report. But we're going to see a continuation of snow into the Cascade, certainly, and then into areas of Idaho into Montana. 24 hour forecast, yeah, that west is fired up. Look at what goes on Spokane to Coeur d'Alene. Rain in the lower elevation, snow into the mountains um, that's going to be a continuation it'll dry out for a while certainly through uh, areas of Tuesday with a few scattered showers and then uh, we should see Wednesday being uh, sunny and mild temperature wise not looking too bad so we look at the winds right now to 22 to 36 into the Tri-Cities again expecting to see potential uh, power outages and again those gusty winds in excess of 40 miles an hour at times um, so strong winds today it is going to be cloudy a few scattered showers tomorrow 43 look for Wednesday to be mostly sunny in 38 that should be the cool of the week um, Thursday Friday around 40 with a wintery mix could be some morning snow showers and then rain into the afternoon Timing right now is sort of iffy, but we'll keep an eye on that. Saturday, cloudy 39. Sunday, the final day of the month. February 20th, can you believe this? Um, 38 and partly cloudy conditions. So, again, we'll wrap up this month on a, on a decent note skywise, but certainly cooler than average. Overnight lows are going to be, uh, again, cold Wednesday morning, 20. So it could be a little bit of a frosty start there, but the sunshine will make up for it. I'm Mark Peterson. Again, use caution outside. The First Alert Weather app has your alerts and watches and warnings built into it, along with that forecast, not only hourly, but radar, so you know where um, it's raining, where it's snowing, or where it's dry. I'm Mark Peterson. Stay dry. Stay warm. Even though 48 are high today, those winds have a bit of a wind chill connected to them. And uh, we'll update this throughout the day.